All right, this is a tutorial on how to use Lighter Pack, a great app for hiking and keeping track of your gear and even planning trips. This is current as of October 2019. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to lighterpack.com, set up an account. When you first open Lighter Pack, you're going to have a blank screen over here. Now, I've already got a bunch of stuff in here, but don't let that confuse you. We're, we're going to kind of start from scratch. So let's assume that you don't have any previously generated list. Personally, I would recommend getting a little kitchen scale for the small stuff and a luggage scale for the big stuff. You're going to want accuracy with regard to your weight values. Another thing you can do is go to the actual websites for your gear and look up their specs. Uh, this might seem like a lot of extra work compared to just weighing it really quick, but one of the things you'll find with Lighter Pack is that you can actually add a link to your gear. And so if you're going to go to that web page anyway, you might as well collect some data. So when this area is blank, what you're going to want to do first is create a list. What I did was I created my master gear list. Whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter. My master gear list is every single thing that I think I might ever bring on a hike or car camping, or backpacking, through hiking, whatever else. And then you start adding stuff to it. So, so let's say I'm starting from scratch. All right, very simple. Here's my list. I'm going to call this test master list. All right, and again, it's very easy to go back and change things later. Okay, so right now my list is empty. There's nothing down here. First, I can make a description. This is my test list delete. This app basically works on a two-tier system. You can categorize gear and you can list gear. Categories are what my individual pieces of gear go into and that's going to show up here in a report later. So it's important to have some categories. So let's say I'm going to start with uh, backpacks. So I, I want to list all of my backpacks even if I only have one. I still want everything in a category. Add new item. All right, so this, the, the simplest way, you, you won't have any of this because you won't have entered anything yet. Your very first item is going to be whatever your backpack is. So mine is the uh, Osprey Exos 38. I can type in a description. Uh, this is my ultralight 40 liter pack. I can upload a picture. Okay, so I can click here and I can either find an image online and put the URL here. If I go to the Osprey Pack site, I can right click the image, copy the location, and paste it in here. And now I've got a picture of my pack. While I'm there, might as well just go ahead and grab the URL because I also want to link to this pack. And you'll see later what that does. I can indicate whether this is a worn item or not. A worn item affects base weight, all the gear you're carrying that is not consumable and that you're not wearing. Now, of course, I'm wearing the pack, but wearing refers to like the pants I actually have on while I'm hiking. So this is not a worn item because it has to count toward base weight. Consumable, am I going to be eating this pack? Is this pack going to decrease in weight the more I cook, like fuel? No, it's not. This is not a consumable. The last thing I can do is I can star the item. I have yellow, I can make it red, I can make it green, or I can turn it off. Those stars have no set meaning do whatever you want. Uh, maybe this is my list of things that I want. Like maybe this is my master list of things I want. Um, I can say, uh, this is a green, I really want this item. Um, and then maybe uh, yellow indicates I'm thinking about this item. Or maybe red means I have this item and I don't want it, uh, whatever. Okay, the price, uh, let's see, the price is $180. Uh, how much does it weigh? This should be around 40 ounces. Uh, the large is 2.51 pounds. Okay, so let's put in pounds 2.51 enter so you notice as soon as i put the data in lighter packs has already generated a report i have one item that's why this chart isn't divided up it is in the category backpacks which is blue and my total base weight right now is 2.51 pounds now if i want to see this report in ounces i can switch this up here and i can see that i'm up to 40.16 ounces can't do the switch here if i change to ounces it doesn't change the number for me although the total report will be correct this isn't going to change unless i decide oh you know what i think i'd rather do my reports in ounces so this is 40.16 don't forget that <laughs> 
Okay, now my report is going to be in ounces, but again, if I try to change it, it's not going to work. So if you want to do grams or ounces and all that, you might want to think about doing that when you make your list, because you can't automatically update it later. There's my backpack. Let's just say I've only got one of those. Here's a new category, so now I'm going to say, um, you know, clothing, new item, uh, my zip-off pants. These are Columbia, and I'm not going to look up all the stats. Let, let's say that these weigh, um, I don't know, 12 ounces, and they cost me 80 bucks. I'm just going to put a two here because I, I have two. So now you can see that my auto-generated report here is saying that my total weight right now is 64 ounces, but my base weight is 52. Why? Because I'm wearing this, and things you wear don't count toward base weight. Now one thing I like about Lighter Pack is that it's smart enough to realize that even though I'm bringing two sets of pants, I'm obviously not wearing two sets of pants. It only takes off one of them. And so as you can see, the calculation is correct. I'm still only wearing 12 ounces, even though my total weight is the same. My base weight is correct at 52.16 ounces. So now, I've got all my stuff. I've got all the pictures I'm going to get. I've got prices, you know, whatever else I have. Everything is dialed in. So this initial graph is all by category. If I want to know how much weight am I carrying in gear, how much weight am I carrying in clothing, of course, this is my master gear list. I would never bring all of this anywhere. Let's say I go, wow, you know, my shelter is a pretty big part of my total weight. Like, what's up with that? I can click on this and it will give me a breakout list of my shelter. And what I can see is that a huge part of my shelter, that's my big four-person heavy car camping tent. Well, that makes sense. I don't care how heavy that is because I'm just sticking it in the car. I can just go back to the regular graph. And then you can start creating new lists. So let's say that I'm going to go uh, on the Camino. Fake Camino. Everything in my fake Camino list is coming from my master gear list. But instead of having to click it and do anything with it, you find that every piece of gear you add anywhere ends up in this list down here. So if I'm bringing my Osprey Exos 38, I can grab it and simply drop it in here. What do I want to call this? Um, let's call this gear. All right. So now I know that on my Camino, I'm going to be carrying 41 ounces in backpack. Um, am I bringing my Marmot beanie? No, I'm not going to go in my boots. I actually want to bring my Ultra Lone Peak. So there they are. So I can search my own gear list. And then you just hover and grab. And I can drag this over here. Now, shoes are not part of gear. So I'm going to add a new category. This is going to be clothing. I'm going to drag my shoes into this category. And now I have two items. Of course, I'm wearing my shoes. So that shouldn't count toward base weight. And off I go. I just start dragging all of the things from this big gear list that got generated when I made the master list, and I can simply drag them over. Now you'll notice the things I put in with my fake list are still there. I am free to delete these items. Okay, so I'm going to go to my actual Camino current list. Let's see, I look at this and I go, hmm, that's pretty high for a base weight. I'd really like to see this down closer to 10 pounds. So I'm going to start a new list where I'm just going to try to make an ultralight version of my Camino list. Well, instead of just adding a new list and starting from scratch, dragging everything over from down here, what I can do is I can copy a list and it will simply make a new one. And then I can rename that and start monkeying with it. If I would like somebody else to do like an online gear shakedown for me, I can actually share this list. And so when somebody opens it, it gives them a public view, fully functional, of my list. You know, I can link to this from YouTube or from my website. And maybe they can go through and click on these if I've put links in and they can see them. They can see pictures and maybe they can help me out. So that share feature is really nice. If you have a website, this is the actual source code. You can just drop that into your HTML. Um, if not, there's your auto-generated URL. The last thing I want to point out is that if you have your gear list on, say, an Excel sheet, or maybe you're an old school gear grams person, and you want to transfer the data to Lighter Pack, there's a way to do it. On gear grams, you can go down here and you can download or export a CSV file. I can then import this file into Lighter Pack 
this will import the data. It will copy over as much as it can without having to type everything over again. Now, I will say that when I first tried to get Lighter Pack to do this, I could not make it work. I tried exporting from Geargrams. I tried creating fresh Excel sheets. I got so desperate, I even uploaded an Excel sheet to Google Drive and then exported it down into a CSV from there. Lighter Pack wouldn't have it. So here's the workaround that I finally discovered. If you go up to Share, this is where the export feature is on Lighter Pack. If you export the CSV here, copy, paste into the CSV of Lighter Pack, then import that same file that Lighter Pack exported for you, it should work. So that's a nice little workaround. One very frustrating thing for me about Lighter Pack is that there is no way to sort any of this information. Um, I can't reorder the gear into say alphabetical or by weight or by brand. I can't do it over here either. You can't sort by name, description, price, weight, quantity. Being able to sort columns like you can do in Geargrams is very handy. If, if I'm trying to drop weight, it's nice to be able to sort and just visually see what are the heaviest items in my kit right now. Without the ability to sort, you can't get that kind of data. And that's something that you just can't do with Lighter Pack right now. So that is about it. That's pretty much how to use Lighter Pack. If this video helps you out, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more gear reviews that can help you plan for your next adventure.